This is a video showing the use of Pasco Capstone with the GM tube. So I'm going to click on my hardware setup on the upper left hand side and I'm going to um, designate uh, digital channel 1 for the GM tube. Once I've clicked on that yellow circle, I can go down to the Geiger counter. Once I've done that, I'm going to um, insert the GM tube into that port. It recognizes that I have an entry in that port and you can see the green line that's been formed here. So I'm now going to create a new page. On that new page I'm going to create a new table. I will do that by double clicking on the table icon on the right hand side. In the first column of the table I'm going to click on select measurement and I'm going to go down and select Geiger counts. Now this will show the number of counts uh, for each sample. However, I also want to total the number of counts over the entire run. I will do that by creating a calculation. On the left hand side, I'll go ahead and click on the calculator icon. I'm going to click on line 1 to make that active, and I'm now going to type in the name of the calculation that I want. In this case, we'll call this sum of counts. And type in the equal sign. I'm now going to go down and select this statistics button here and go across to the sigma sum. So that puts in the function as well as the open parentheses for the argument. I'm going to roll my cursor over that blinking cursor there and right click. I'm going to go through the insert data and then go down and select Geiger counts. Once I've done that I can hit tab. If I've done everything correctly and the syntax is correct, the text will remain black. If it is not correct, it, uh, Capstone will let me know by uh, changing the parts of the calculation that have errors in them into red text. Since I'm taking the sum of counts under my units, I'm going to have this also be in counts. Once I've done my uh, calculation and there's no red text in there, I can go ahead and click on my calculator icon again to close that down. On my right hand column of my table, I'm going to click on select measurement, and now we can see that there's an entry for sum of counts. Also to make this clearer, I'm going to create a digits display to the right hand side. I can do this by double clicking on the 1.23 icon. Once I've done that, on the upper right hand, uh, rather upper left hand side, I'll click on select measurement and go down to um, my sum of counts here as well. Also um, for this sampling, we're going to want to make sure to have the sampling rate um, uh, be a little bit longer depending on the number of counts that you're going to have. But again, the sum, uh, it doesn't matter what the sampling rate is, you will always be summing the total number of counts over the entire run. I do not have a, a source here, but we can go ahead and uh, click on the start the counting here. And as soon as we've generated a count, it uh, registers an uh, count on the left hand side. And then as those counts are added up to the sum, you can see the sum increments both on the right hand column and within the digits display on the right hand side.